Hi, welcome. My name is Hari. In this section, we are going to discuss about what is encapsulation in Java. Encapsulation is all about making properties private and giving a public getters and setters. This is called as encapsulation in Java. To understand it better, let us start with a small example. First, we will do this example without using a proper encapsulation. We will observe the problems with that and later we will modify the code and we will put a proper encapsulation in place and we will see how it solves the problem. Create a class person. The property age. I just created a class person with a property age. Now others in my team can go and use my person class and they can store the age of the person in that. And others in my team they started using my class as follows. see this code they are setting age to minus 20 but is it really valid syntactically it's valid so compiler doesn't give any error here but the values are not legal so we should not set negative values for an age so current design of my class person is not able to restrict this so the I mean the other developers in my team they can set whatever value or whatever integer they like into my person's age but I don't want them to do these kind of things this is the problem with out encapsulation we don't have any control over this property age because they are able to access these properties directly and they are able to set the values directly now i don't want others to set whatever they like and i want to i want to put a restriction on my age so they I, I need to allow only a particular values into this age the other values i want to restrict now let us add encapsulation mechanism to this class so according to the definition making the properties private and Providing public getters and setters is called as encapsulation. Now I am restricting direct access of this property. So no one can access this property directly. Now the question is how they are going to set and how they are going to access my property age. So instead of direct access, I am going to give two methods. One method is to initialize the age the other method is to access the edge so we call them as a setters and a getters right if they want to set my edge they they are forced to call this method and set the edge if they want to access the edge they are forced to call this see now they cannot do this why because this i didn't like now they are forced to access or to set the age of a person by using setter method. Oh, again, see, he is able to set minus 20. Are we still controlling that age here? No, but now we have a proper encapsulation. Here you can include whatever logic you like. See for example, I want to allow the age between 18 to 60 years. If age is less than 18 or 
if age is greater than 60 I don't want that values to be set to the age I'm saying throw an exception invalid age so this is the benefit we get out of encapsulation now see they can set age by calling this setter but this is my restriction this is my restriction so we are able to have control over our data so they cannot set whatever they like they they must set according to our restriction without encapsulation we don't have this option so with encapsulation we made it private and we are giving a public setter and getter methods now we can put our own restriction into the methods and we can avoid outside world or our other developers restrict setting invalid age to our person this is what encapsulation is all about protect or make your properties private and give a public getters and setters such that in future if you want to impose any kind of restriction yes your class is having a proper encapsulation you can just go and put a restriction whatever you like it I hope you understood what is encapsulation and how it helps in our applications thank you